This video was produced by the UCD Maths Support Centre in conjunction with the UCD Access Centre. The third property of enlargements that I want to look at is questions where we're asked to find the scale factor k. So the scale factor k, to find the scale factor, we measure the length of a side of the image and the length of the corresponding side of the object and then we use the formula that the scale factor k is equal to the image length divided by the object length. So we'll do an example of this now where we are told that the triangle O or S is the image of the triangle OPQ under an enlargement. We're told that the length of OP is 6, the length of PR is equal to 7.5, and we're asked first to write down the centre of enlargement and to find K, the scale factor of enlargement. So first of all, if we look at our diagram here, we have two triangles. We have the triangle O or S, and we're told that that is the image of the triangle OPQ under enlargement. So the triangle OPQ is the triangle, this smaller one down here. So if we look at these two triangles, they share a point down here, this point O. So when we're asked to write down the center of enlargement, for part one, the center of enlargement is O as O is common to both triangles O or S and the triangle OPQ. So we see that O is a common, angle, a common point on both triangles, so it is the center of enlargement. So to continue with this question, what we should do is write out the two triangles that we have along with their measurements given. So we have two triangles here, we have the triangle that we started with, OPQ, so this triangle here, P, O, P, Q, we are told that this length is 6, and this length is 8. We also have a larger triangle, which is O, or S, and in that case, the length of the bottom side here is 6 plus 7.5. The total length of O to R will be 13.5. So now that I've found those two, we can go ahead and find our scale factor using the formula we had above. So we said our scale factor k is equal to the image length divided by the object length. So we have to ask ourselves, do we have two corresponding sides and do we know their lengths? Well, we know the length of OP and we know its corresponding side on the larger triangle, our image, is OR. So yes, we have both of these values. So we know our image length is 13.5. And our object length is 6. So what that is, is the length of OR divided by the length of OP. 
and what that is equal to when we work that out on a calculator is 2.25. So that is our answer for our scale factor K. Now the last part of our question, if we go back up here, stated that if O Q is equal to 8, find Q S. So going back down to our pictures here, if O Q is equal to 8, so that's O Q here, is equal to 8, we're asked to find Q S. So Q S is actually back up here on our other diagram. We're asked to find Q S, which is this length here. So not this full length, just this piece here. So to take it back down, if we were to look at drawing in our line PQ here, so this is Q and this is P, well we know this is 6, we know that this is 7.5, we know that this is now 8 and we're looking for this length here. Well what we can do is we can work out the total length O to S and then QS, this red line here, will just be, QS will be the total length of OS minus our length from O to Q. So this OS is this total length our OQ is our 8 that we already know, so what we need to find is OS. So we need to find OS. So using our formula for K here, we can say, if we rearrange it, that image length is equal to k times your object length. So if our k we worked out above was 2.25, and our object length on that side is our original 8 here. This will be our object length. This whole line is our image length that we want to work out, our OS. So, our image length, which is our OS, is equal to K, which we saw was 2.25 times our object length, which is OQ. And we know what OQ was given in the question was 8. So that means OS is equal to 2.25 times 8, which is 18. So then, using this equation up here, we get QS, what we're looking for, is OS, which is now 18, minus OQ, which we had was 8. So that means QS is equal to 10. And that's our final answer.